Hey guys, it's Gustav the Gamer, and today we will be playing some Team Deathmatch on Battlefield 4. I hope you guys like my new intro. I also put a new outro. Some two very good friends of mine, they go to my school, Victor and Robert. They decided to do it, and I was, I was, I was, I was really happy. They did a great job. I even offered to pay them, but they said no. So right here, we're jumping into a game. We're down by nine. And Battlefield, it's a lot harder than Call of Duty. I sort of, not that good at it, but it seems like more of a PC game. By the way, you jitter as that guy kills me. But what I mean by jitter is like, it, it just, it's not as smooth as they try to make it more realistic. But the jittery movements, as like in this game, you'll see me miss shots and stuff. It's just not that smooth. I'm using the AKU-12. It's my favorite carbine. I unlocked it recently. And the stability is so high, so it's really accurate. As that guy steals my kill. And this weapon... It's... It's just like a short version of the um, AK-47. It's extremely powerful. Versatile overall. I highly recommend it. And I've been also experimenting with the with the different grenades and stuff. And there's just so many situations where I just suck with grenades, just can't get the kill. So that's just because all the other grenades as I get that nice long range kill. But all the other grenades they're just they have such a low blast radius, you have to pretty much directly hit them with it. And I, so I just chose to use the default one which has a regular Blast, blast radius, so I get more kills, really. I also hope you guys like my new channel art. Uh, my cousin, one of his friends in high school, made it for me. And he, he makes a lot of good, like, art for, like, like, computer art for games and stuff. And I thought he did, like, an amazing job. Now my channel actually looks like I don't know what word to use, uh, appealing, because all my subscribers are pretty much people I know, but I've started to get people that I didn't know, which is good, so maybe I can get bigger in YouTube and stuff. So back to the game. This game wasn't my best game. I haven't been playing Battlefield lately, more 2K and stuff. And just getting used to like editing on the computer and stuff for YouTube and you got for you guys but I do love sniping on this game so I know a lot of people are disappointed with that 20 minute because it was so long a lot of people didn't watch it all but my last battlefield video if you didn't watch it go check it out I'm not recommending watching the whole thing because it is 20 minutes long but a lot of people wanted me to just use the sniper. As I said in the beginning of that video, I rely on my pistol a lot. A lot of people wanted me to just use the sniper, which I probably should have. But I was just going for the kills. And trying to get some good stats. And right here is a cool part. I get that kill. As I unlock the laser sight. And I know someone's there. And I shoot about six bullets. And I killed the first guy with five, and then I, di I didn't even know till after the game. I realized after watching this, there was a second guy right there that I one-shotted. So that's the guy that, that reduced the w guy one shot its health. So I, I, I felt like reviving him, just to... I felt like he deserved it, but... Of course, a sniper gets me. Headshot. Right here, I just take him out, trying to test how to use him, because I thought it was instant. I didn't know you had to... Rub them together to charge them first. And there's... I forget the name of the perk. But there's a perk class that... It makes that process like... Two times faster. But... I still run defensive. Because... Defensive gives you more health. And... Other stuff I'm not sure. But the more health is the main thing. The offense I think gives you more ammo. Faster. And there's like one for like sniping so people can't locate you as fast or something. But the defense is the way to go in my opinion. And also I've been seeing some great support on my 2K videos. Thank you guys a lot. 
And I noticed here, you can lean around stuff. I think Call of Duty sort of stole that from Battlefield. Because Call of Duty tried to make their gameplay more interactive. But you can't really get more interactive in a shooting game than Battlefield. And I just missed all those shots. And then I shoot him like four times with a pistol. It doesn't die. So I go to chase him thinking he's up the corner. But he's not. Just gonna rush him with my... AK-12 or whatever it's called. AKU something. And at first I thought this was a submachine gun, but no. As I fail with the grenade. But... Because I remember all the way back in Black Ops 1, this gun was used often with, like, grip and stuff. It was, like, the most accurate, like, one of the best guns. Here I just go for the height point. I love going in buildings because... I call, I'm pretty much a sniper on battlefield, so that's where I like to get my vantage points, advantage points. But is that guy just probably quick scope me or something? So we're doing pretty good. Probably could do be, probably could be doing a little better, but I'll take it. Whatever. For my next video, I'll probably do some sniping. I'm probably like a mid game mode. By that I mean like. Team Death as a small, and then Conquest as a large. I could, probably could do Conquest and just snipe, but I don't know. Maybe some domination. Because Team Death is like 10v10 or something, I'm not sure. But Conquest is like 32 versus 32. And Domination's like 16 on 16 or something. So I probably would do some Domination or something. I think, because... I'm, I just, I love sniping, especially after I unlock that one, one sh shot sniper. Well, mostly one shot. Like, probably like to the neck and chest, usually, usually one shot. Before that, every single sniper was a two shot, unless you got him in the head. So we end up losing 98 to 100. I thought we could pull the comeback, but I did join the game. So I hope you like the gameplay and there's more Battlefield videos to come.